and welcome to another installation video from Alps Electrical. So we are here at this beautiful 1900 to 1920s property, um, which is in a very leafy part of Stockton, uh, installing 14 panels, a 5.74 kilowatt array on this client's roof. So from the initial survey, when we popped out, uh, we established that the install itself wasn't gonna come without its challenges. Uh, the main being that the actual roof structure itself um, meant that we had to go for a full structural survey. Um, we had a pretty good idea from the initial survey that the timbers in the roof looked quite strong um, and in good condition. Um, unfortunately for, for the client and ourselves, uh, the structural survey came back fine uh, to proceed with the, the plan as we originally thought. So we are here today, uh, we're on the install, it's all going really, really well. Um, so I'm going to talk you through and see how the lads are getting on. So the client got in touch with us and said he was interested in a solar quotation with battery storage. So we ascertained at the initial phone call um, a little bit of basic information about his current energy provider, um, estimated annual usage, what he was looking for um, and then we initially um, booked in a survey. Now we always try and work on the basis of booking the survey within a week if we can um, and at that point our director Andy um, popped out to meet the client and had a really good look at the property um, and had a chat with the client about what they were looking for. Um, so for this particular client he lives in a really big property, energy usage was quite high um, and he wanted to maximise the space that he had on the roof um, with an array um, and as much battery storage as was required. At the original survey appointment, um, Andy spends quite a lot of time at the property. Um, he has a measure of, of the roof space that we're thinking of utilising, checks various things within the property. Uh, and then it's a case of us going away and working on an initial proposal for the client. Now, in this scenario, uh, we looked at a Give Energy system, um, but we looked at 14 panels um, which are um, eight would be on the south facing roof and six on the east facing roof which is on the front of the property and um, we're looking at a 9.5 kilowatt battery system with give energy and in this case that warranted a five kilowatt inverter with give energy so because we were looking at a five kilowatt inverter we needed to obtain permission from northern power grid which is a local dno um, to obtain a permission for that particular inverter before we proceeded with the installation we did that um, and it came back within about two weeks. Uh, fortunately for ourselves, everything was approved and it came back. There was no cost to the client to do that. Uh, we don't charge anything uh, to do that for the client. Um, and that just meant that we were then able to proceed with the proposal that we suggested for the client. Um, in this instance, he was quite happy with the Give Energy system. The Give Energy system is a market leading provider of battery storage systems and inverters. They offer um, a market leading 12 year warranty as standard which is absolutely fantastic. And the batteries uh, that they offer are some of the safest in the market at the moment. Okay, so here we are inside the garage. I'm now gonna pass you over to the brains of the business, our technical director, Andy, who's designed this particular proposal. Um, he's just gonna explain a little bit more in detail about why this was the right fit for the client. Um, a bit, as you can see, absolutely beautiful system that we have set up in the background as well. So yeah, so as Isabella has probably um, explained beautifully and eloquently, we're installing this Give Energy system here today um, in this house. It has had its challenges, uh, with just with the roof height, the roof shape, the house is all rendered. So we've had to be careful with cable routes, how we get from downstairs to upstairs, um, and other things we won't go into. But yeah, uh, we've done really well today. We started at eight o'clock. Uh, there's four of us on site. We always have a team of at least four, which we find works well between, you know, we have generally two, sometimes three on the roof, and then I'll usually be taking up the AC side or somebody else, but yeah, that's the usual split. And uh, we started at eight and we were, we were cracking on really well. We hit a couple of little hurdles along the way, which is always the case with solar. You know, you prepare as much as you possibly can, and then you'll find when you get up there, the scaffold's up there, you get onto the roof, depending on where your trusses are, and 
the pitch of the roof. The, this particular roof has a, a pitch and then like a skirt, it, it, the pitch changes. It looked as though it wasn't as wide, the pitch from down below, but uh, sorry, the length of the skirt didn't look as wide, but actually when we got up there, it is a bit longer. So we've just had to adjust things a little bit, but that's what we do, you know, that's what you've got to be prepared for. All in all, a really nice system to install. We are, uh, it's about two o'clock now, and we are quite well on. I've got all the, um, all the mains is connected. Uh, literally everything's done this side. I, I'm basically finished. All I'm waiting for now is for the lads to finish the panels on the roof, and uh, we can test the solar arrays, and we can get those connected into the DC isolator. Um, but yeah, from a customer's standpoint, uh, this, is the 9.5 kilowatt battery which we have wall mounted we've got the inverter above this is will be the dc isolator which is this turns off the the panels the solar array from above if you want to work on it safely or if you need to isolate for any reason you can't just isolate the ac side you've got to also isolate the dc side so we have this is our second ac isolator which the first one's where the um the main consumer unit is so this is the second one, then you've got the generation meter and uh, the DC isolator and um, you've got your isolation underneath as well for this. Um, but yeah, well, like, I'm going to start commissioning it soon anyway, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Um, but it's generally quite straightforward with Good Energy to commission. And it's a wall mounted system as you can see. Uh, this particular unit is one unit that's nine and a half kilowatts. Um, for this particular client, that was affordable, which is great, but they do actually have smaller batteries available. Um, it's very much around determining the right battery size based on usage in the property, but also budget will determine it often. Um, and the good thing, like I mentioned earlier, is that you can easily add in extra batteries with most brands. Some uh, brands are stackable um, units, so look nice and tidy. Uh, we, in our own property, have got Fox batteries, um, which are uh, quite heavy, big, stackable um, batteries. Um, and, and like ourselves, we, we ended up adding a further battery about a month or so later after our installation, just because we felt we could warrant a little bit extra battery storage um, this client's quite happy with the nine and a half kilowatt battery for now um, but he's aware that if he needs to he can add into the system at a later date don't think it's going to be necessary because his grid independency is about 85 percent already with the battery um, that he has so fantastic system and um, fantastic performance um, and that should be everything that he needs uh, again it's about um, adapting over time so if the client does end up with hot tub or he installs an EV charge point, we might need to address things, uh, but at the moment this should suffice uh, very well for him. So as you can see, Andy is busy away and he's starting to commission the system in the background. Um, so I just wanted to add in a little bit of an explanation around what happens after the installation is complete. So the, the main part of the system is a handover and commissioning, which is a process that Andy needs to follow to check that everything's been installed correctly, not just based on Give Energy's installer guidelines, but also for MCS and making sure that we have followed their installation procedure exactly as it should be. Um, Andy follows various checklists and documentation that he follows just to make sure that the system's up and running, it's safe, um, it's efficient, everything's working as it should be. Um, and then it's a case of, um, running through a handover with a client. For this particular system, we set the um, user app up uh, for the client. We run through everything, how, how they can actually run um, and manage the app themselves. The Give Energy app is absolutely fantastic. It's so easy to use. It's really, really a fantastic system, one of the best out there. Um, and it's very easy to learn um, and take on board and you can easily work out how to change things on there. So um, a good thing with battery storage is that you can actually top up the batteries overnight when energy is at its cheapest um, and that's a good way to utilize your solar array in the winter months so when we don't get as much sunshine unfortunately because we are in the UK um, you will find that your um, solar array does not perform unfortunately as well in the winter months we do still get some sunshine and it still does perform and provide some generation 
Um, however, it's not as efficient as over the summer months. So in the winter, um, what you would ideally want to do, and again, there are other providers, but Octopus is one of the market leading. They offer lots of different tariffs and the, the best ones um, are if, available if you have an EV charge point as well. Um, but for this particular client, because he doesn't, he can go on to tariffs such as Flux, um, Intelligent Flux, and what that will enable him to do is top up his batteries overnight, maybe between 12 and 4 a.m. in the morning, when the energy price is at the lowest, and he'll utilize that energy throughout the day and the evening when they need to. Um, anything that then is produced by the solar array will be exported back to the grid. Now, at the moment, Octopus will offer you as high as 20 pence for that export, so absolutely fantastic. What you'll often find in the winter months, and again, it's just down to how you want to run and manage the batteries, um, you can still top them up overnight if you want to. Many of our clients start, do. For our cells, our personal preference is just to allow the sunshine to top our batteries up in the summer months. And then anything over and above that that we're not using, we then export back to the grid. But everybody um, plays the systems differently and it's about finding what works right for you. Um, and like I say, there are other providers than Octopus, but Octopus is, is the best on the market, I would say at the moment, if you do have a solar array. Once Andy's commissioned the system, he's done the handover with the client, um, that's where my job comes in uh, to play. So I then work on um, providing a handover pack to every client. Um, initially, what we do is send that over via email. I'll then pop out probably a day or so after the installation is commissioned and meet you. Um, and I'll provide a paper copy of all of the useful documents to keep on site. We provide a little docket um, next to the installation so that you've got all of the documents available really easily. Um, and particularly anything like an emergency shutdown procedure which is just a hand should you ever need it so just to explain a little bit about what is in the handover pack the most important thing that you need to be able to get the export tariffs is the MCS certificate which just makes sure that we've installed everything um, compliantly um, we've checked the components so the main components that we check are the solar panels in this instance we've used JA solar We've checked the panel um, is registered with MCS, um, which fortunately it is, but they're a fantastic um, solar panel provider. They're a tier one provider, which are, means that they've got financial back in between them. We would never look at panels that are not tier one. There's lots of different providers out there, um, and that's part of our job just to make sure that we get the right panel for you. For this particular client, I'm gonna show you the panels in a moment. They've got a black outer edge, look fantastic, really, really nice. You can get panels with a silver edge, you can get panels that are all black. It's around um, personal preference, um, which works best for you. Um, and they're all slightly different sizes, and uh, that's our job to try and maximize the roof space that's available. So I'll send you the MCS certificate within the handover pack, uh, like I say, within one to two days. You'll get any G99 or G98 um, documentation that you'll require in order to apply for the export. Um, Andy will provide any electrical documents that you require, so the EIC, building control, all of the commissioning checklists um, and handover documents. You'll get an insurance back guarantee policy. Um, we actually have that through a company called QANW. What that actually does is it provides you with an insurance policy to back up our two year workmanship warranty. Um, again, you know, part of the MCS checks are to make sure that any company or installer that is an MCS installer is, um, has the financial stability to be able to maintain that workmanship warranty. However, you know, nobody can truly predict the future. Um, so you have an insurance back guarantee policy to make sure that you have something to fall back on should we not be able to commit to that two year um, period. Right, so here we are up on the roof and the sun couldn't have been timed any better. It's just come out. Um, so the system's generating, the panels are, are producing, which is fantastic. And I think they look great. I mean, this roof definitely had its challenges. Obviously, um, it's a hip and valley roof. Uh, we had to get a structural survey done just to make sure whether it was going to be, you know, be able to take the load. Um, and then obviously, you know, panels, aren't triangular panels are all rectangular and the roof's triangular so um, we had to uh, play around with 
landscape portrait, what could we fit on. We also had to we, you know, look at different panels because uh, you're trying to find the right balance between wattage and size um, that's going to fit the roof and also look nice as well. Um, so we've literally, we could not have done anything different here. We've put six uh, panels on this uh, side of the roof and we've fitted eight to this side of the roof. You literally couldn't get another panel. So that's it for another solar installation by Alps Electrical. This has been a thoroughly enjoyable job as most of them are. Uh, it's had its challenges. Uh, we, it was a lovely customer to work for. Uh, and it was a good system to fit. So apart from the rain, which wasn't much fun, um, we got through it. We did it in a day and a half because we've got a great team. And, uh, and now the sun has come out. It just couldn't be more perfect. So it's been a great job. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.